I am Abhay. Welcome to my channel. On my screen, you can see a WhatsApp chatbot powered by AI. The chatbot can dynamically answer user queries related to your e-commerce website. It can handle customer questions, share order details, provide information or policies, and offers and product recommendations. Today, I'll explain the simplest way to create WhatsApp chatbots like this, or you can call it as AI agents. If you watch this video at the end, you will receive two bonuses. First is a guide for creating a free API key for Google Gemini which is the AI behind this workflow or any of the workflow I am creating in this video and a workflow template like this with step-by-step -step guide on building WhatsApp chatbots. Now let's build this WhatsApp chatbot from scratch. For building this WhatsApp chatbot, I'll be using NETN, which is an AI workflow automation tool. The best part about NETN is it is an open source platform. So you can self-host it on any of your web server or your local computer. If you want a detailed guide on how you can self-host NETN on your web server or on your local computer, you can check the link in the description to more about it. I have made a detailed playlist around it. So once you log into your NETN dashboard, you have to click on create workflow button. Now my workflow is created. I'll have to add a trigger here. In short, trigger is an event by which this workflow starts. So we want to start this workflow when anyone chat with us on WhatsApp. To add the WhatsApp trigger, I'll click on this plus button. I'll search WhatsApp here. I'll click on on messages. To use this WhatsApp trigger, you'll have to connect your WhatsApp business account with an at N. Don't worry, I'll guide step by step here. To connect your account, you have to click here. I have already a connection here, so my connection is visible here. Now it will ask for two details, which is client ID and client secret. To create this client ID and client secret, you will have to visit business.facebook.com and log in with your Facebook account. And make sure you have a business portfolio created. If you don't know how you can create a business portfolio, or if you don't have any business portfolio in your Facebook account, then, you, then in the login screen only, you can create a business portfolio. Or you can click on this drop down and then click on this create business portfolio, enter your details here and your business portfolio will be created. Once you are within your business portfolio, click on the settings. Once you click on the settings, you'll be redirected to a users page. Then click on the apps. Here any of meta developer apps, if you've created in the past are listed. If you are new to this, don't worry. Click on the add button at the top. Or if you don't see any add button on the top, you will see a add button at the center of your screen. I'll select create a new app ID here. One thing to note before creating a new app ID, Make sure your account is verified with your mobile number added and you have a payment method added in your business portfolio. And if you want to add a payment method in your business portfolio, you can see on the left hand side, there is a tab named as billing and payments. You can click there and add your credit or debit card details. Once you have these prerequisites, click on this create new app ID and you will be redirected to a new screen. Here you'll have to enter the name of your app. I'll just simply name it as N at N. I'll click on next. I'll scroll down and I'll select other. Click on the next button. You have to select this as business and then click on next. Here the app name is pre-populated. You will have your contact email address and you will have your business portfolio in which you have created this app. Just click on create app. Here you will have to enter the password of your Facebook account again for verification purposes. Once you verify your password and create the app, you will be logged into your app dashboard. You have to click on this app settings and then click on basics. You have to copy this app ID and paste it here in N at N with the field named as client ID. And then in the meta developer dashboard, in front of app secret, you'll have to click on this show button. Then copy this app secret. Similarly, paste it in the field named as client secret and then click on the save button. Once you click on the save button, the connection will be tested. And once it is tested successfully, you will see a message like this here. Now I have successfully configured the WhatsApp trigger here. You have to click on back to canvas. Once we are back to canvas, I'll click on this plus button here and again type as WhatsApp. I'll select WhatsApp Business Cloud and then in the action, I'll select as send message. One thing to note here, the credentials we created for the trigger are different. And for WhatsApp actions like sending messages or sending a template messages, the connection is different. Now to create connection with WhatsApp actions, you will have to click here and then click on create new credentials. It will ask for access token as well as business account ID. Now let's go back to our meta developers account. I'll click on dashboard. Once you are in the dashboard, you'll have to click on setup. Once you click the setup button in front of WhatsApp option, you have to click on start using the API. Once you click on start using the API, you will see a API setup screen like this. Here you'll have to select a from number by which you will be sending WhatsApp messages to your customers. Here WhatsApp already creates a test number for you, so you can use it for testing purposes. But if you are using this on production, so you'll definitely use your own number. To use your own number, you can click on this add phone button and add a phone number, you will receive an OTP and your phone number will be added to your WhatsApp business account. For this example, I'll be using my live phone number. You can choose any of your phone number, either it's test or either it's live phone number. Here there are two IDs. First is phone number ID and second is WhatsApp business account ID. 
you will have to copy this WhatsApp business account ID and paste it in this field named as business account ID in N10. Now comes to the part of access token. For this, I have came back to my Meta Developers account and here comes the main part. There are two type of access tokens. First is temporary access token and second one is permanent access token. So you can generate a temporary access token by clicking on this generate access token button here. This access token will be expired within a short period of time. So if you want to use this on a live production environment, this access token is not usable for you. But if you're just testing within the test number, you can click on this generate access token button. There are some permissions. You can set the permissions and get an access token generated. Now comes the main part. If you're using a WhatsApp number of your own, you have to generate a permanent access token. And I'll explain step by step how you can generate a permanent access token. For generating a permanent access token, you will have to come back to Meta Business Portfolio. And here within the business portfolio, you have to come to settings. And within settings, you have to select the option named as system users. Once you click on system users, if you have a fresh account, there will be no system users inside it. But if you have an account like this with me, then you will have to click on this add button. And yes, for the fresh accounts, there will be add button in the center of the screen. Here put the name of the system user. I'll just put it as admin. You have to click on this system user role and click on this admin button and then click on create system user. There is an error here because one business portfolio in Facebook can only create one system user and I already have one system user. So I will not be able to create a new system user. Once you open your existing system user or create a new system user, you have to click on these three buttons and click on assign assets. Here click on apps and select the app we just created. You have to click on full control and then click on assign assets. Once this app is assigned to the system user, you have to click on generate token. You have to select the app that we selected. In my case, it is N at N. I'll click on next. Here it asks for token expiry. You'll have to select for never. So this token will never expire. And then I'll click on next. And then you have to select the permissions. Here in the permission search bar, you'll have to type for WhatsApp. You'll have to select as WhatsApp business messaging, WhatsApp business management, and then click on generate token. You'll have to verify your account with an OTP again. Once you're done with the verification process, you will see the access token in front of you. You can click on this copy button to copy this access token, come back to your Anaton dashboard and paste the access token copied here in this field. Click on the save button and you can see that connection tested successfully. And this was the main and tough part. I've seen on YouTube, many of the educators have skipped this particular part for creating a permanent access token. So if you have received any value out of it, just like this video and click on the subscribe button. It will motivate me a lot. Now that we have connected the WhatsApp trigger as well as WhatsApp action. Now let's build a logic behind it. Click on back to canvas. So you're back to canvas. You can see WhatsApp trigger is connected with WhatsApp action. You'll have to just click on the delete button. Then open the WhatsApp trigger again. Click on the execute step button. So it will fetch all the WhatsApp messages that you have sent to your WhatsApp number. If you have connected a test WhatsApp number, you can open your WhatsApp account and just send a hi to that test account number. If you have configured a real number, you have to just send text to that real number. I've logged into my WhatsApp account and sent a test hi message to this WhatsApp number. Inside Anaton, I have received a response like this. Let me go back to the canvas. And now it's the time to add the brain to this WhatsApp chatbot. We'll be using AI agent for this. To add AI agent, you have to click on this plus button, click AI and select as AI agent. Here, source for the prompt, you have to select as define below. And on the left hand side, you'll see the WhatsApp trigger input. You have to select this body parameter from here and drag and drop it in the prompt message. And that's it. We have configured the AI agent first step. Now go back to the canvas. I'll adjust it here. Now we have three options to add it here. First option here is chat model. That is any AI LLM or you can call it as brain behind this AI agent. I'll click on this plus button and here you have options to add multiple AI LLMs. From this, I'll be using Google Gemini chat model. And as promised earlier, I'll explain how you can get Google Gemini AI API key for free. To get the Google Gemini AI API key, you have to visit aistudio.google.com. You have to log in with your Google account and then click on get API key button. Once clicked here, you have to click on create API key button. If you don't have any existing Google Cloud projects in your Google account, then a project will be automatically created along with the API key. But if you have any Google Cloud projects, then you have to select the Google Cloud project here and then click on the create API key in existing project. And congratulations, you have a free API key of Google Gemini. It has certain limits. If you want to understand the limits of this API key, you can check the link in the description. I'll copy this key from here. I have came back to N at N. In this credential dropdown, I already have a connection made. For this demonstration purpose, I'll click on create new credential. This host will be pre-populated. In the API key, you will have to paste the key we copied earlier. The connection is tested successfully. I'll just close this and that's it. We have configured the AI here. Now it's time to add memory. I'll click plus here. I'll click on simple memory. Here in the session ID, you will have to select as defined below. So you can consider this memory node as an option which stores all of your chats with your AI agents in the system. And based on the configurations we have did here, it sends this chat as a context to AI agent. So it will not forget what you've done in the chat in the past. For example, if you send hi and send 
my name is abhay so in the next chat it will greet you as abhay and all of the follow up conversations it will remember that your name is abhay so to store that you will have to define a key here a key is a unique value so here we are using whatsapp so unique key here is the whatsapp number by which i am contacting with my bot so on the left hand side you can see messages from and this is the whatsapp number from which i am communicating with this whatsapp chatbot so i'll just drag this from and drop it here in the key and here is the context window length so this value sends how many past interactions chats you have done with the ai agent as a context to your ai llm now we are done 90% part of this workflow it's time to test this workflow and connect it to the action i'll click on execute workflow so it says waiting for you to create an event in whatsapp i'll send a hi again here and inside anytan you can see that there is a green tick mark to this ai agent now comes the last and main part which is connecting your ai agent to the whatsapp action so it can send messages back to the user i'll just connect this ai agent node to the send whatsapp messages node i'll open this up and now you'll have to select the credentials that we have previously created here in the resource select as message in the operation make sure it is send here there is a drop down to select a sender phone number id i'll select my phone number from which i'll be sending messages back to the user and here you'll have to map the recipient phone number for which on the left hand side just expand this whatsapp trigger option and here in the profile i'll just drag and drop the wa underscore id so the whatsapp number to which i'll be sending the messages back is configured here which is dynamic in this case and in the last part the, you can select the message type as text and for the text body you will have to expand this ai agent and within ai agent you will have to just drag and drop the output here and that's it we have successfully configured this i'll click on the save button now that we have successfully created our first whatsapp chatbot let's test it i'll click on this execute workflow button because this workflow is not activated i'll go back to whatsapp and type a hi once i type a hi you can see that this ai agent is working in the background and it is sending message back again to the whatsapp number here is the response received hello again how can i help you today let me ask one simple question make sure before sending the message again because this workflow is not turned on you'll have to click on this execute workflow button and then ask your question again i have asked this question what is the weather today in mumbai and you can see that this ai agent is working in the background you have received a accurate response the current weather today in mumbai india is 30 degrees celsius and it feels like 35 degrees celsius so that's a good response so this is how we have built our simple and first whatsapp chatbot with anatan if you want to expand this further you can add multiple tools to it you can add systems like appointment booking order tracking and multiple other features if you want a workflow template that i have previously mentioned in the intro of the video you can check the link in the description thank you for watching this video if you have any questions regarding this like setting up whatsapp business chatbot in an atn or setting up whatsapp business account you can ask me in the comments and if you want a expert guidance or a detailed one on one consultation regarding this you can book a discovery call with me i'll be happy to help you with this have a great day bye